here we are. Nice breath in, relax your body. Relax your face, your shoulders. Just let yourself relax into the chair. Let it support you. And let that space between your ears just clear out and open so that you can feel, so that you can be more present to the love in the room, to the love that's right next to you, right in front of you, right behind you that beautiful love of family, that recognition of your soul, the awareness that we are here together to celebrate your soul's journey. And this day is part of that. And this love The love in the room, the support of spirit is part of that. And we do it together. And we are honored. And we are enveloped in that love. In the awareness of something greater that brings us together, that honors us, that lives inside of us. The honoring of the human experience and the love that comes as a continuous, never-ending gift from the divine and from a messenger of the divine in cryon. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want you to feel everything that's possible in three dimensions to feel. These particular channels on these workshop days are different. I speak to seekers, those who would stay and ask the questions that you ask. If you take a look around you, you'll see all ages. The awakening process is not for young people, is not for seniors, it's for humans. And it's happening. If I could take you on a journey to show you who you were, I would. But many of you are starting to discover it. It's an expansive journey when you really truly understand what has happened and who you are. My partner is wondering what I'm going to say. He often gets a snapshot. Because while he is tethered in another place, he is one with me. He feels the message come in, as it does. He remembers what has been said. Many don't. But right now, he's not seeing the message. And the reason is this particular message is not one that's been giving totally verbally. I want you to see who you are. I want you to feel it. Right now. Dear human being, you have been through so much. I would like to address you right now. I'm addressing the higher self of every single one of you. The one who knows me from where I am coming from because the higher self is part of the same central source as I am, as you are. The oneness of God right now is in your lap. 
I address the higher self because I want to address the akash of every single one of you. The humanism that you have been is not this lifetime. All of you in the room have been both genders, and you know it. All of you in the room have had the experiences of going through dark, dark energy, slogging through that which is so amazingly dark. Coming through the ages, that's who you are. And trying to figure out your relationship to a higher source. I want you to look at this for a moment. This is who you are. Forget who you are in the mirror. Forget it. That's not who I see. That's not who God sees. The peace of God that is in you is all part of everything. The human that you are is separated from this temporarily. But not right this second. I want you to feel this. I want you to feel the magnificence that you are. I want you to feel the sacredness that you are. And maybe this is the time for an overwhelming truth and beauty to settle in you so much that you'll never forget this feeling of who you are. So that no matter what happens in your life, there won't be frustration because you know who you are. You'll understand how small your fears are and your anxieties are compared to what you've been. I want you to stay in this place. I know that your intellect cannot possibly understand and see all the lifetimes, but you can feel it. Emotionally, you're free to feel this. Your intellect cannot identify what you're feeling, but you can still feel it. I want you to feel free. I want you to feel free of the petty worries that you have or the, the realizations that you've gone through, the issues that you deal with, just for a moment. Because if you can feel this with me, as this entourage gathers around, around you right now, and presses upon you truth. You can feel it with me. You're going to be able to carry this for the rest of your life. We do not blame humanity for what it has done with God. We cannot. You seek your own level, your consciousness as a human race has decided where it would go, we cannot be in judgment of free choice. But where it has gone has been to view everything by only what it has experienced. Therefore, God is far beyond anything it has experienced. And we say yet again that all of your models of divinity are as high as you can think based upon a human paradigm. Everything you have, which is the highest of the high, is only as high as you can think a human can go. <laughs> you really don't know God. When you can feel us, do you understand the difference? If you can't figure us out and you can't really figure out divinity in you, you still can feel it. Let me ask you, human, have you figured out love yet? Have you itemized it and categorized it and boxed it yet? Can you take love and, and, and apply physics to it? No, no. You can't because you can't. 
It is not figure outable with 3D. It's the same with God. It's the same with the seed of creation in you. I want to suspend a moment in time right now where you become expanded and larger than you are. Everything you've been told about God in your life is probably only a small portion of who you really are. This is changing. You look at who God is to the earth, and it's still in a box, is it not? An energy in a box. And you still wonder, how long can humanity sequester the divine to a box? You report to the box, and they tell you all kinds of things and rules. And you leave the box. <laughs> and you say, well, God is there. I'm not... I'm not worthy. You're born dirty. All of the things that are so much human thinking. An evolved idea is starting to occur to the earth about divine things. You're going to start seeing it in the young people because they're going to refuse to report to the box, any box, anywhere. No matter what the culture is, even the one in Israel, they're going to start questioning the box. They're going to question the rules, and they're going to start asking to feel who God is. And old soul, you got the upper hand right now because you can feel it. In the feeling is the teaching. Don't use your intellect to figure out this message right now. Just be with me. Be with me. The feeling is the teaching. Because as you feel God inside and you know you are so expanded and who you really are on this planet and what your soul has been through, you are master shamanic teachers to all around you. The compassion you can have from this is of the masters. Stay with me. Don't think about anything else right now. Just stay with me. Is it possible that you're really that big? And the answer is yes. What is this all about if not? If not that, then what? What do you feel? If not that, then what? Stay with me. Don't use your intellect. The emotions of compassion and the feelings that you are able to feel right now of the love that is for you that tells you you're not broken, you're just right, you're ready to go. This is perfect. If you can feel that right now with me, when you leave this room, it's still there. Do you understand this? This is the implant. <laughs> You're implanting yourself with the truth of who you are. It's different now than it was even 20 years ago. For in this energy, you are going to receive so much more truth about the, the expanded soul that you are, that your life is so much bigger than you think. Your life is the payoff of all the lives that you've been before. And that which used to be and who you used to be is starting to, I would say, infuse itself into you. It's the wisdom of all the past lives. I talk to those who are from many cultures. I know who you are. I know your name in light. I know why you're here. 
This piece of God that speaks to you now is allied to the one inside you. Every problem you think you have and that you do have, I've been part of it. I've been there when it took place. I've been there since you were born. We all have. The entourage has. God has. Because there is a love for you that is beyond measure. And that's what I want you to feel. You are one of us. Family, one of us. I want you to start Understanding there is no separation between the Almighty God and you. And how can I put this even more clear than it is? That's what I want you to feel. There is an expansion going on, and some of you are fighting it. Some of you are fighting it. Some of you are accepting it. <laughs> You're actually saying, bring it on. <laughs> and others of you are so surprised by it, you think something's wrong with you. I want to tell you, it is time to wake up. And you're doing it. You wouldn't be in this group otherwise. I am in front of seekers. And I want to tell you that what you are seeking is here in you. You are far larger than you think. There's nothing casual about this moment. It's just profound. If you can allow the feeling in you and the emotion to swell up in whatever way, in maturity, in purpose, in peace, when you leave this place, I want you to have something you didn't expect. I want you to feel good about everything. <laughs> and you'll say, well, how can, I, how can I feel good about everything? You can if you understand the big picture. Why not? It's inside you. You have reached a point, old soul, that is the payoff. You got past the big one. That place in history that was the marker that said if you pass this, you're on your way. Your life is much bigger than you think. Now, I don't want to push the envelope of perception. But some of you, I want you to think even beyond today. Your Akashic record goes into the future. A record to you can only be passed. A record to us is a record of everything, including the future. All of you have lifetimes in front of you, and if I could show them to you, there would be such joy in this room, a release in this room, an overwhelming cry in peace in this room because you'd see what's coming. You'd see a development in you. You would see the things you have always asked for in all the lifetimes you've ever had embodied in where you're going. That's the potential of the old soul. We see that. And everything you're going through right now is so small compared to that. This planet is headed for places you cannot even fathom in maturity. I said it before. Peace on earth is a given. This is where you're headed. This is what humanity is wanting, if you noticed. For the first time in history, in recorded history, overwhelmingly, you don't want war. Overwhelming. You don't want to separate and fight. Overwhelmingly. You want to fi find answers. Young people will rise up and demand it if you don't give it to them. There's a phrase by a very wise person 
that said, what if you gave a war and nobody came? And that is what you are going to be faced with. Old versus new energy is already erupting on this planet. You've got a war of attitude, dark and light. Evolvement in thinking and consciousness against old energy. That's what you got. You're in the forefront of that. And in this room, you seekers, I will tell you, the seeking has paid off because it brings you here to hear truth. Now, what do you do with it next is still free choice. I want you to feel it. Don't listen to me. Validate it right now. Number one, is it a mistake you're here? No. Number two, are you really as big as we're saying? Yes. I want you to feel it. I want your answers. I'm giving you mine. Number three, is there a plan? Yes. Number four, are you part of it? Yes. <laughs> Number five, is the overwhelming plan filled with benevolence, love, and purpose, and joy? Yes. You are building a new planet. Can't you feel it? Intuitively, I want you to feel your next life, young person. It's coming. You'll have plenty of time on the planet. But it's not over. And you'll be back, and you'll be back, and you'll be back. Because you're building a future that no one ever thought. No anthropologist is going to believe this. No sociologist will ever believe it. And those listening to this channel who are invested in the dark side and doom are going to be so critical of what I'm saying. So I have a message for them. When the doom doesn't happen, what are you going to do? Invent new doom? Or maybe I'm right. You're the forerunners of an ascended planet. And when that happens... In the far future, far, far future, I want to come back and ask you how you liked it <laughs> as you seed another planet because you will be the ones who carry the seeds. <laughs> You're bigger than you think. I want you to take this with you and don't let anybody beat it up. Don't let one human being point at you and say, you got it wrong. I want you to feel it. And in the feeling, you'll know. I am crying in love with humanity. And so it is.